When it comes to rigs, by no means am I a technical genius. I like to use components that are strong and reliable, and when I put them out into the water, when it rips off, I know that no matter what that fish comes into contact with, it gives me the best possible chance of landing the fish. Now, this rig in my hand here is an Illusion D rig, and I'm sure you have seen me use and talk about this many a time, but there is one difference that I do that I don't see a lot of people doing and that is the length in which I use the rig. Now this one here is around 12 to 14 inches long, which is probably twice the length of the average conventional rig that gets cast out into a lake. And the reason that I like to use this rig so long is that I believe that the rig, when it's laying on the bottom, if it has some form of curve in it, that when the fish picks the bait up, the rig has to go a lot further back into the fish's mouth before it feels the resistance and the weight of the lead. Whereas shorter rigs, they're almost picking the rig up, feeling the weight of the lead almost instantly, and I just feel that they are easier to get ejected. Whereas with a longer rig, the further back in the fish's mouth it goes, the harder it is gonna be for that fish to eject the rig. Now, onto the hook bait, and you can probably see there, I've got a nice, big, juicy bunch of worms. Now, I've used this rig for so many years now and caught so many carp using it. But questions that I get asked a lot, first and foremost, is how do you get the band onto the micro ring swivel? And also, how do you get the worms from the bag onto the band? So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna run you through how I tie it up to make sure that you have a worm hook bait that when you cast out, they don't all fall off in flight. So the first thing that you need to do is peel yourself off around 16 to 18 inches of the 19 pound Illusion mainline. The reason why I use the 19 pound mainline material rather than the specified hook link material is because it is a lot more supple and it comes off a bigger spool and I do not straighten these rigs out before I cast them out. Then I'm gonna take my size four wide gate beak carp hook and attach that via a 10 turn knotless knot leaving around about an inch out the back of the hook that I'm gonna to use to attach my micro hook ring swivel to. Then I'm gonna take a micro hook ring swivel, put it onto the tag end, pass the tag end back through the eye of the hook and blob that down with a lighter, securing it in place and forming the D section of the rig. Then I take an anti-tangle sleeve, slide it down the hook link, set the rig to the desired length and tie it off using a twisted figure of eight loop knot. Then to attach the band, I'm taking a small section of braid, passing it through a small rubber bait band and doubling it back up on itself before passing the two tag ends through the top eye of the micro hook ring swivel. And then what I do is I pass the two ends of the braid back through the band and pull it down nice and tight, always remembering to moisten the band. And that way the band is loop to loop onto the top eye of the swivel now you can remove the braid and slide down your piece of plastic corn. I found over the years and after many experiments that the rubber corn grips tighter onto the band, which means when you add the worms, you can lock it off nice and tight, ensuring that none of them come off on the cast. Now lastly, and the most key part to all of this rig is you have to put the worms on with the rig hanging under tension. I like to do this by standing the rod up and being able to pull down onto the band to insert the worms. And then what I do is I grab the band, I pull the band down, almost opening it with my fingers at the same time, grabbing a worm out of the bag, and then at the pointy end of the worm, just using it and almost teasing it through the hole that is in the band, pull it down, grab another worm from the bag, and then keep poking them through the hole until I have around seven to 10 worms on the rig. And to finish it off, all you need to do is to slide the piece of corn off of the micro hook ring swivel to lock that band in place to ensure that none of the worms come off on the cast. All I do to that before I cast out is just snip a couple of the ends of worms off just to release all those lovely aminos that the worms hold. And one thing it is worth mentioning as well is I don't generally tend to fish this rig through the hours of darkness purely and simply because absolutely everything that swims love worms and there's nothing worse than sitting there knowing that potentially you could have no hook bait left by the morning, which let's be honest, is a brilliant bite time. But certainly for daytime fishing, when you're fishing over a spot, a rig like this will definitely get you more bites when all else is slow.